welcome to Music City Kids. My name is Tamara with Love in a Big World and I'm so glad you're here. We are committed to helping you grow strong in mind, body, and heart. Today we're talking about moderation. Moderation is keeping a balance, avoiding extremes. And we're looking at the difference between needs and wants. There are some things that we need, like sunshine, healthy food, sleep, and lots of water. And there are some things that we might just want, like those latest Nikes, or the brand new iPhone, or those really cool joggers, or some extra time with our friends. But there's a difference between what we need and what we want. So we're gonna be looking at that today. To get us started on this journey, we've got our friend L.A. Jordan and her nieces with some dance challenges for us. So get up and get moving. Thanks, Tamara. Hey, Music City Kids, it's L.A. Jordan again. Hey, I'm here with my nieces. We're gonna dance together. We're doing the Auntie Niece On The Spot Dance Challenge. This is part two. If you missed part one from last week, they battled me. This is where no one's practiced ahead of time. We just make something up on the spot and challenge the next group. I'm gonna challenge them. So in case you've forgotten their names, introduce yourself. I'm Avi. I'm Kyla. And I'm Gabrielle. And they're visiting all the way from the Lone Star State. They're here in Music City. Here we go. I'm gonna battle them and let's see if they can pick up my moves. All right, to the side, That's ladies, the to the side, to the side. All right, so I'm going to go, <clears throat> excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Y'all got that? I think we got it. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go, five, six. Seven, eight, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job! Whatever. All right, I got y'all this next time. All right, to the side. Here we go. <clears throat> gotta get deep with this one. I gotta get deep. Let's see. Let's go. Out. One, two. What? Y'all remember to do that? Here we go. It's gonna be one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So out one, two, three. That's not what I did. No. I don't remember what I did. <laughs> it was this. Yeah, come. It, 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 you remember. Um, Show me what I did. See, choreographer, sometimes we make up stuff and mm, here we go. So we went. I went one, two. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that what I did? Yeah, let's do it again. All right. Everybody together. So out, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hey! All right. So that was the very first Auntie Niece on Spot Dance Challenge. Technically, also, Tennessee versus the Lone Star State. If you didn't know the answer, that's Texas. Texas is the Lone Star State. All right, back to you, Tamara. Keep dancing, Music City Kids. Did you know that one of my favorite things to do is dance? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to show you, though, <laughs> but it's really fun. All right, thanks, L.A., Next, we've got our friend Janet from Janet's Planet with some STEM for us. Welcome to Janet's Planet where we're traveling at the speed of thought. Did you know that chronic disease can happen to anyone and sometimes to kids just like you? This kid made fun of me when I came back to school without hair. I have cerebral palsy. I can never be just me. It's all about the wheelchair. I have asthma. When I have an attack, 
I can't run or play, and other kids call me lazy. How do you treat others when they have something that makes them sick? I stare. I gossip. I make fun. I avoid. Disease can cause dis-ease if you let it. Let your mind revolve around this thought. Great challenges can shape great people, and great people make awesome friends. And that's the view from Janet's Planet. Brought to you by Jim of Children's Hospital. Thanks, Janet. And next, we've got some spoken word from our friends at Love in a Big World. A steady balance, like standing in the middle of a seesaw, with spread proportionately, not allowing one side to rise too high or the other side to dip too low. Like crawling before you walk and walking before you run, stretching before a workout, studying in hours for an exam, but not too much. For rest, too, is a crucial component. Not being too this or too that. Not too much sugar in the Kool-Aid or too much seasoning in the chili. Self-control and restraint keeps away the weight of excess. No living in the imbalance of extremes, but allowing this and that to coexist and work together. Providing space to play in the middle ground where justice and equal opportunity can reside, granting you freedom to be alive. Here's a special song from our friend Andrakis. What's up, Music City kids? My name is Andrakis B. I'm a singer, songwriter, and producer, and firefighter here in the Nashville area. And um, I'm with you guys today just to share a song with you that I wrote and produced. It's called Beautiful. And um, this song to encourage myself, and I hope the song will encourage you to understand that you are beautifully and wonderfully made and that you have a purpose. Here's beautiful, and I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's been rough, I know. Even miserable. When your faith is running low, no, don't let it crush your soul. And I know it ain't going the way that you planned it, but you can let those days leave you stranded. You're not hopeless. Yeah. No, it's not hopeless. Yeah, yeah. I want you to know, you to know, you to know, you to know that you are. It's so beautiful, 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 yes you are. I want you to know, you to know, you to know, you to know that you are. It's so beautiful, 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 yes you are. It's your star, yeah, yeah. Pick yourself back up, no, don't you hold your head down. Uh, continue to dream when it seems that everything's against you. Stand proud yeah. oh, and know that you ain't gotta have it all together. It might not be perfect, but remember your purpose. Yeah, and you deserve, you deserve, you deserve, you deserve to know. You to know, you to know, you to know that you are. You're so beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yes, you are. I want you to know, you to know, you to know, you to know that you are. Yeah, you're so beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yes, you are. You're a star. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. You're wonderful and made. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I want you to know. That you are, oh you are, 
You're so beautiful, beautiful, yes you are, you're a star, yeah, yeah, don't let nobody tell you different, just know that you are queens and you're queens, you're kings and you're queens, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, oh. You, you're beautiful yeah. Yes, you, you're beautiful Just know you're beautiful And wonderful Yeah And if, it, if it's not looking how you want it to look right now I can promise you Just a little patience, hard work, and perseverance You'll begin to see that Everything that you behold is beautiful Yeah you're beautiful. Tamara, back to you. So here's your book suggestion for today. Oprah Winfrey by Will Mara. Did you know that Oprah is one of the wealthiest people in the world? And yet she says this, I still think twice before buying anything. Well, put Oprah's words into your own. What do you think she means? I think she's talking about the difference between needs and wants and being mindful about how we spend our money. And not only do we have to be mindful about how we spend our money, but we have to be mindful about how we spend our time and who we spend that time with and how we're using this gift of life in this world. Think about it. Moderation is keeping a balance, avoiding extremes. And I know that in these crazy days of the pandemic, civil unrest, the election, and all that's going on in our big world, we've got a lot of people taking sides and being extreme. And you know what we need most of all? We need to keep our heads about us and remember what's most important are our relationships with people, even if they're different than us. Again, moderation is keeping a balance, avoiding extremes. So we need to think about how we spend our money, how we spend our time, how we invest in people, and the difference that we can make in this big world. Next up is Dr. Don and Chuck. Hey, Houston City Kids, Dr. Don here with my friend, Chuck. And we are continuing our discussion on healthful skin. Now, we've talked about our fatty acids, we've talked about our vitamin A, and we've talked about, um, what else did we talk about? We talked about vitamin C, that's right. Now, another vitamin that we have is vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is nicknamed the sunshine vitamin because sun helps us get vitamin D. Now, it is important though to remember though, the sun does damage our skin. And so we want to make sure that there's this balance between uh, benefit and risk. We call that the risk to benefit ratio. Now, it is the sun is good for us. It is. There's no doubt about it, but it can be damaging as well. So get it, you can get some vitamin D from the sun, but just be cautious. And we've talked about skin protection before. So um, but how do we get it from the how do we get it from the sun? I'm gonna tell you. So a fat that we've talked about previously called cholesterol is in your it's in the blood and when the vitamin, when the sun shines through it hits the skin that UV radiation hits the skin and it breaks up the cholesterol into a different compound and then that compound goes to the liver and it gets turned around into another compound and then it goes to the kidney and it gets turned into another compound. So you actually get vitamin D2 and then you get vitamin D3. Uh, and the D3 is the active form. So before it hits the kidneys, it's not active. So, but that's how a really general explanation of how vitamin D is, is made in our body. Now, what does it do? The vitamin D is responsible for and or regulates cell production. So sometimes we don't want to overproduce cells and we want to we want a nice steady rate when we have overproduction of cells sometimes we there are uh, conditions medical conditions 
Um, one of those is uh, called psoriasis. Um, and vitamin D has actually been used to help regulate the growth of that uh, in, in certain conditions or instances. But it, vitamin D does help regulate that cell growth. Um, it also helps suppress inflammation in the skin. And we've talked about the other nutrients too, that they also help suppress inflammation. And so it's really important that we not just suppress inflammation, but just keep it in check. Um, and it helps with tissue repair. So a really cool thing that vitamin D is responsible for is angiogenesis. So in a healthful situation, Angiogenesis is the production of new blood cells. So the more blood supply we have to our skin underneath here, the more nutrients it can get to it, we can feed our skin. So vitamin D is very important that it will help keep us in that nice, helpful skin dynamic. Um, now, foods, other uh, food sources, I've, I've talked about one of them before, Cod liver oil is probably one of our best supplemental sources, um, and uh, it, it's it's not really in a lot of foods naturally. There's some in beef. A lot of our foods um, are fortified these days with vitamin D, which um, is it's a definitely a good thing. But it's we we want to try to get get a, a good amount in our diet. Um, so I, I do like uh, the sun and I do like some cod liver oil, but uh, that one, like I said before, sometimes the taste is not great, but a nice lemony flavor uh, that a lot of companies are putting out now does help get it in. So that's it for today. And we'll continue the discussion later. And until then, back to you tomorrow. And now here's a word from the birthday girl, Miss Luana. Hey, please take a moment and say happy birthday to her in the comments. She'd love to hear from you. Hey everybody, good to see you again. I've got some great fall crafts for us today. It's just getting so great, the weather outside. Nice breeze in the air. I can feel the fall approaching. And so let's go ahead and get into this craft. I think you're really gonna like it. It's gonna be fun. And it's again, using something around the house that I'm sure you guys have. Just make sure you ask mom and dad before you start collecting your supplies, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, for this project, you need a coffee filter. Make sure you ask mom and dad. Food coloring, you want yellow and red, and some basic brown paint, and just a teeny bit of water in these cups I have here. Now, as you can see, I'm just tapping my brush lightly onto the coffee filter, and I'm adjusting my color with the food coloring because I want this to get as dark as I possibly can get it. If you have watercolor paints, this would be perfect for that. And you wouldn't have to adjust the color as much as I am, but I'm just about getting the darkness I want. So I think we're good. And I'm gonna keep going on and I'm gonna fill in. I'm just filling in. I'm tapping it in the yellow, filling in, adjusting the color, getting it darker, and then I'm tapping it in the red and then filling in. I know this looks really basic and simple right now, but the more I fill in, I think you're gonna be really impressed at how nice this turns out. So just keep going around your coffee filter with your food color and fill in. I even have a little bit of green paint that I watered down a little bit just to put a little green in there, okay? And I think you're gonna figure out what we're gonna do here by the time I get it mostly filled in. Can you guess yet what it's gonna be? All right, that's looking really good. And it even looks better once it dries because the colors get a little deeper. All right, I think I've got it all filled in how I want it. Gonna take my brown paint now and I'm going to sketch out a tree trunk. So you probably know what it is. I'm making a fall tree where all the leaves have turned all the beautiful colors of fall. So just sketch out your tree trunk here and fill it in. Make your tree trunk happy like you want it, as dark as you want it. Maybe put a little few limbs on there, okay? 
I'm going to darken mine up a little bit more with a little more brown. And like I said, once this dries, it is going to be so impressive. All right, I think I'm done with mine. And here's the finishing result. Back to you, Tamara. Now we've got Margarita with Bye Kids for Hello. Kids. My name is Margarita Crystal. I'm nine years old, and I will be sharing some fun things you can do during autumn. This is a beautiful season when trees paint their leaves into different colors. So I decided to color my own unique pumpkin. I decided to make it a forest fairy. I think I'll call her Petunia. This is acrylic paint so that my masterpiece won't wash off and I made her hair out of wool and also a pretty paper hat. You can paint anything if you please. For example, we had some old rocks lying in our garden so I decided to paint one of them like a pretty little kitty. Pro tip, by the way, if you don't want your your masterpiece to be soggy and smoggy, then you better wait for the paint to dry before you put on a second coat or outline. And I also painted this beautiful sunset. It took me a long time to shade this sky, but I think it was worth it. And the mountains are cool too. And these are my sister's masterpieces. I think she just loves coloring, glitter, and things like that, but in my opinion, they turned out pretty good too. And I just love seeing things float around in the sky, and I've always wanted to fly on a hot air balloon, so I decided to paint one. I asked my mom if I could use the stools in the garden before I did that though so that she wouldn't get mad. Oh, I just love painting hot air balloons. They're so pretty. And this here is my magical forest with so many unique and beautiful plants and animals. I think this would be the best place for Petunia, right? Come on. Oh, they're heavy. There, that looks much better. So now, think about it. Do you have anything you want to add a little bit of color to? Back to you, Tamara. All right, this has been great to be with you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember, moderation is keeping a balance, avoiding extremes. So whether it's how you're spending your time, how you're spending your money, what you eat, how much time you spend on screen, think about it. Are you keeping a balance? And remember, there's a difference between what we need and what we want. You might want to sit on the couch all day, but you also need to get up and get moving. You might want that extra piece of chocolate cake, but your body doesn't need that much sugar. So that's all part of it, moderation. And most importantly, remember this, we need each other. That's a fact. And so be careful with what you say and what you do so you're not pushing people aside just because they think differently than you. In fact, having a conversation, even with somebody who's different than you are or thinks different than you are, may help you grow. And that's what we're here to do with you on Music City Kids. We want to help you grow strong in mind, body, and heart. Remember, we're all in this together. And we'll see you next time here on Music City Kids. We are music.